say it like that If I hate you then I'm someone new Baby but you know I never will No So I choke you down just like a Gym. I've just parked outside my house and I'm dreading going inside because I've got to take all these heavy bags and stuff in with me because I slept over Kurt's house last night. So I just got home from the gym and I had one of the best sessions I've had in such a long time. Lately I feel like my body has been plateauing and I've just felt really unmotivated at the gym. So I decided to mix up my workout and just shock my body a little bit and it was amazing. I was super, super sweaty and I just feel energized and ready for the day. So I had a banana on the way home but I'm starving because I need some proper food in me. So I'm going to get all this stuff, go inside and make an omelette. It is stinking hot today. I need to get out of my car because I'm sweating. I'll see you inside. I can't get my words out. I can't get my words out. I've got my post-workout snack here. It's just one whole zucchini, heaps of baby spinach and two eggs with some black sesame seeds on top. I'm trying to add black sesame seeds to everything because they're really good for my hormones. While I eat that, I'm also cooking up some chicken because I forgot I had that defrosting, so I'm gonna cook that up on the barbecue now and have that for like my meal preps or maybe I'll have that for lunch. And I feel like cooking it on the barbecue is just a lot easier and a lot quicker and it just tastes delicious. Anyway, I just finished cooking my chicken and I have this problem. I really shouldn't be allowed to barbecue by myself because the smell of the barbecue gets me so hungry I probably say I just ate half a chicken breast just like I was picking at it and eating it because it was so so yummy but I'm going to leave this in the fridge and probably have it for lunch in a big salad later I definitely could eat more right now but I know my body isn't actually hungry it's just bored so I'm gonna go and drink lots and lots of water it's one o'clock in the afternoon and I'm like lying down on this mat editing underneath this beautiful fan oops nearly chopped my fingers off because it is seriously boiling outside. It is so, so hot. But anyway, I'm a little bit peckish. I just feel like something's sweet, so I think I'm going to either make a protein shake. Yeah, I'm gonna make a protein shake and sip on that while I keep editing. So let's go and make that. I'm gonna start off with some frozen strawberries. And how cute is this? My older sister got me these little stickers to like label all my food because I have like my own food in the fridge. And they all say something different. Like this one says, says food, hashtag it's healthy, you wouldn't get it. So all my food has these fun stickers on it now. But anyway, I like to use frozen strawberries in my smoothies because they're frozen, it obviously gives it a nice cold and sort of slushy thick texture. But strawberries taste amazing. They're really good for you and they are low in sugar. So I rely a lot on frozen strawberries for my smoothies. And you can munch on them while you actually make your smoothie gonna chuck half a banana in there I just love bananas I feel like they make everything super super sweet which I love and it just makes it a little bit more creamy I like to have a source of protein in pretty much all of my meals even if I have a smoothie or like an acai bowl I always add protein so I'm gonna do a scoop of this lean protein it's just like a pea protein in vanilla then a little bit of cinnamon I add cinnamon to pretty much everything I love it for my skin balancing my hormones and I just think it tastes really good I'm also going to add a little bit of the Tropica Maca powder. This is really good for balancing your hormones, but I love it because of the taste. It just sort of tastes like a toffee flavor. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. Some chia seeds for extra fiber and just a digestion. I feel like these make my digestion perfecto. Then I'll chuck some water and some ice and blend this sucker up. And I'm just going to drink it straight from the container. 
so so yummy oh the banana makes it so i'm gonna sit under this fan with my icy drink and hopefully that cools me down edit this vlog like i do have a pool but my pool is solar heated so i feel like the water is even going to be too hot sometimes if the weather is too hot the water is not even refreshing this is delicious definitely try this recipe out i feel like i should also have a shower because i sweat a lot at the gym today I'm seriously a grub, it's so disgusting. I love that boys think that girls are like so clean and have their life together. I am so dirty and disgusting. Sometimes I will work out in the morning and go the whole day without showering and just shower before I go to bed. Cause I'm gross like that. Anyway, I'm feeling happy that I'm back on track. I feel healthy and fit. A good gym session just puts me in an awesome mind frame for the day. But anyway, I need to stop talking to my camera cause I need to edit what is on this camera now. Bye. Still just chilling out editing and I need a sneaky snack. So I'm just having a square bar. This is just the peanut butter flavor. So I'm gonna snack on this and hopefully finish this vlog in the next 10 or 15 minutes. I'm still a grub and I haven't showered yet because it's still hot and I'm still sweating my face off. So it's not really worth having a shower. So I want to take a break from vlogging. So we're gonna play a little quick game. Who knows me better, Talia or my mom? Okay, let's play. Ready to play? Sure. Let's play. All right, I am gonna Snapchat some of these questions. I'm just gonna make them up as I Go. I can snap uh, <laughs> Question number one. What is my favorite color? Dong. Mum. White. Ding. Black. Pink. <laughs> <laughs> Shame, We're off I to a great color. start. I what is my favorite animal? Dong. Bing, bong, bong. A Mom. dog. No, it's, it's a, a snow leopard. Yes, a snow leopard. <laughs> what is one of my pet peeves? Well, there's so many. Yeah. <laughs> you hate when I blow my nose. I hate. Talia blows her nose like a hippo. It's like <laughs> obnoxiously loud. You hate noise. I hate noise. Yeah, sensitive. I'm very auditory sensitive. sensitive. Yeah, you, you hate other people. Yeah. yeah. I hate other people. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> number the question number two. Ready? What can't I eat? Oh my gosh. What can she eat? More the question. She can't eat dairy, she can't eat gluten, she can't eat sugar. Let's skip that question. Actually, this, this might be a nice, deep and meaningful one. What am I insecure about? Your leg. Your skin. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think I like this deep. question. You like deep. 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 Yeah. Oh, I was thinking more like insecure. Down. Your ugly head. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky last question, what are the little things that make me happy? Palm tree. <gasps> yes, palm trees make me so happy. Like wherever I am, if there's a palm tree, I'm in a good mood. That's people, good people, life, people giving you positive affirmation because you always are positive to other people and sometimes you don't get it back. Yeah, no, I like people are positive. Just, yeah. Hang out with your sister. Oh my pillow! <laughs> I'm really like, I'm off. really sweaty and mom's yeah, getting mad. <laughs> and I'm sweating over the house. Yes! You're just dripping on all my things. Dirty oh. lie! <laughs> I can see it's dripping off your legs. Dripping gold! Oh this always happens. I didn't plan on eating anything, but I just sort of stood at the fridge and I ate like half the chicken. But I only really like to snack on meals. Like I wish I made that into a chicken salad, but eh, whatever. But I am going to make a coffee now. I'm just craving one with my favorite coffee beans. Oh my gosh, where are they? Has someone stolen them? Oh, here we go. Oh yes, I think I've got like enough beans to make one more coffee left. This is the coffee I got from up the coast. I bought a new French press. So I'm gonna make a coffee. It's almost seven o'clock and I just got out of the shower. I have a hair mask in and I also just exfoliated my skin because I wore no makeup all day today. And I feel like that's good because it lets my skin breathe. But I feel like when I don't wear makeup, I actually sometimes break out more because like my pores are opened and the dirt gets in there. So whenever I don't wear makeup and I have a sweaty session at the gym, I really make sure to exfoliate that night. And I feel like it really helps my skin. But really weird, before I hopped in the shower, I just felt really anxious and stressed. Like I just sort of logged onto my phone and I had all these emails pop up and I was just like, oh my gosh, like I have so much to do. So I'm not even really that hungry right now. I was gonna go up to the grocery store and make like a really cool pocket Hawaiian bowl for dinner. But honestly, like I just want to dedicate this night to de-stressing my body because I don't know, like I'm not really a stressed and anxious kind of person. So when I feel like this, I know something's wrong and I just need to take some time to myself and just really look after myself and just take it easy. So I'm not even going to go out to the grocery store and get ingredients. I'm just going to make something really basic here. Honestly, I'm just going to cook up a bunch of vegetables, cut up that chicken that I cooked earlier and just make like a really quick stir fry with chili and lemon. 
and this has been like the first day that I've had to myself in five weeks but even so like we had people over our house all day like my sisters had friends over and stuff and I just want to be real with you guys I just feel a bit smothered by everyone right now like I love my friends and my family but sometimes like I just need alone time I'm the kind of person that thrives off being alone and I need alone time like I get frustrated being around people all the time and I know there's people who are the opposite to me like my older sister always loves to be around people and she loves being around her friends all the time but I'm like need my alone time and I just feel like I have not had that for over a month so tonight I'm just gonna lay low chill out and just de-stress my body a little bit but for now let's go out to the kitchen and make a super easy quick stir fry I've actually decided I want to make a chicken salad because I feel like something more fresh and just crunchy and like a bit more volume and I feel like when I cook everything it wilters too much but I am cooking some cubes of pumpkin it's a butternut pumpkin cut into little cubes with a tablespoon of coconut oil cinnamon and fresh turmeric grated on top. Turmeric is amazing at decreasing inflammation within the body and giving your skin a healthy glow. But I'm just gonna cook this up and then combine it with some salad and I might cook the chicken as well. I'm going to make like a sweet drink. I've just frothed some almond milk in this little milk frother. Let's do the golden latte because we haven't done it before. Normally you're supposed to have ginger, but that's okay. We just won't use the ginger. Normally it's four ingredients, but like I said, I don't have ginger. So we're just going to do a little modified version. So start off with some cinnamon. I like mine super, super cinnamony. So add as much as you want. I add an obnoxious amount. Then add some fresh turmeric. You can add turmeric powder if you want, but the fresh turmeric is going to give you that actual nutritional benefit. So I've just grated up some fresh turmeric here. Oh, and if you missed my vlog yesterday, I just got this from the health food store. That is what turmeric looks like. It looks super, super similar to ginger, but it's not ginger, obviously. It does have a really strong taste, so just add a little bit, and the more you can put in, the better, but yeah, it is quite strong. And then I just add a teaspoon of honey. You can use rice malt syrup if you want, or maple syrup. I just like honey because it does have antibacterial properties. And again, I feel like it gives a nice glow to my skin. Actually, maybe I'll put another little sneaky spoonful in there as well. I nearly forgot one of the most important ingredients, and that is coconut oil. Number one, that gives it a nice smooth consistency, and a fat in these kind of drinks keeps you fuller for longer. I'm so bad with desserts, nothing fills me up, so I need to make sure I have a fat in everything to keep me full. Otherwise, I would just drink like 20 cups of this, so this is going to help fill me up. Yum, look how good that looks. So, so delicious and really satisfying as a dessert because it's creamy, sort of has like a caramel toffee undertone, so this should satisfy your sweet tooth. Oh, great. Just just what I wanted, a beautiful hat mark. Let's just pretend that's not there, okay? I'm going through this really bad habit of having a lot of dessert lately and I don't just mean like one bowl of fruit, I mean like multiple bowls of fruit. It's okay though. I'm telling myself it's just a phase I'm going through and I'm gonna sort it out today. I know last night I said that that turmeric latte was going to satisfy my sweet tooth, but obviously it didn't. Oh, and what I'm talking about is I had a bowl last night for dessert and I had like a bunch of frozen fruit in there, some banana, some chia seeds, cacao nibs, coconut flakes, and buckwheat, and I topped that with some almond milk and I've been having that as my dessert lately. While yes, that is a lovely healthy dessert, I'm just eating way, way too late at night. Like if you guys saw what time that was, I'm just gonna tell you, it was one in the morning. It's really bad because I work a little too well at stupid hours of the morning. Like, I swear I get my best editing done at like two in the morning and I probably need to stop this routine. I met someone the other day who goes to bed at 8 p.m. and wakes up at 4 a.m. and I'm like, hashtag goals. So my goal for the week is to start going to bed a little bit earlier, maybe not 8 p.m., that's a little bit too hashtag grandma status. But I'm thinking if I go to bed earlier, that means I won't be snacking as late at night and I'll be sleeping better because I won't be having like this massive spike of sugar before I go to sleep but that's okay we all have goals we all have things we're striving to achieve and mine is to stop eating fruit at 2 in the morning anyway I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did please give it a thumbs up give it a like because it really supports my channel and make sure to subscribe because I upload new videos every three days I'm gonna go now and just work on getting this hat indent off my forehead is this what I would look like with Botox is that Botox or is that a facelift are they the same thing or are they different? I don't even know. But anyway, gonna go. Bye.